Hi everybody, so I'm really sorry I haven't updated part two yet, but I do have a lot going on right now and I wanted to make sure that I finished up part two of what I already started before I moved on to some new business. So here's part two. Um, what you're going to see is me at Hangar with Michelle and my friend Jordan, who is an intern there, and she's going to ask a bunch of questions. I'm going to explain to you what happens, uh, and then we're going to check back in. And I'll let you know where my progress is now. So there you go. Here's part two. So it takes her a little bit of time to get it. Well, yeah. often it also, it's not just her getting used to it, but often when they first put the limb on, mm -hmm. they don't have enough moisture. Right. So if we put you in a socket, well, now we're trapping that moisture. Which one so is? it will. Yeah, that's the humidity. Will go close. Off. I never thought of that. Aha, really yeah. uh -huh, yeah. there we go. Is opening it though. And the outside one is, is open. Inside so one, because of the, yeah, because of the uh, you uh, can't. It, I didn't allow you access well, to your yeah. electrodes well, either. <laughs> so I don't know where the gain is on the electrodes. Well, it's pretty high on the. What were we having problems with mowing when we did the shake? Yeah, but not, you don't know that we put those in the same ones. Oh, very true. Yeah, true. Yeah, because we could opening. have them backwards right she's now. She's opening it. She before she couldn't even get it to open. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So we're All that's right. good. All right. Now I can't get it to open, but we're not being able to. And it also depends on where the you want to put your elbow right back. Yeah. Yeah. See where it's hitting. See, we're a little yeah. bit long because we're hitting here. Yeah. Yeah. Because you have the thickness. Okay. Just let it hang. Go ahead. Hello. <laughs> see now against the wall, it's a little long, but here it looks a hair short. No. Yeah. You know I what? Would, I would I'm not looking at the thumb. I can't look at the thumb because yeah. Yeah. Close. because it's yes. yeah. But I would almost leave it alone. Actually, that's, that's not short. bad. Yeah, a little, that's little, a little bit. Longer. No, that's not bad. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. That's great. See? I think it looks great. Yeah. Yep. I like it just like that. <laughs> With <laughs> the rubber band. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. Is that way we get to see. And now the finished art, this is actually heavier than what it'll be. Oh, okay, cool. Okay. Um, not a lot, but the, the lamination weighs less than the, this mm -hmm. tubing and what does. The, you can see how we, this is all molded to this. Right. And it, it's actually, we actually heat it with a torch and it gets really soft and then we can just kind of put it around and get it where we want it and make the alignment where we want it. I'm trying to and fire it to open it. So something that I had mentioned when I first got my arm was that I really wasn't interested in getting a prosthetic. I was actually kind of negative towards some of the things people might have said to me, and I do want to apologize for that, but I think that my negativity came from a place where I didn't really accept that people were saying, oh, you can get this kind of prosthetic, you can get this. I wasn't accepting it as something positive. I was kind of taking it as, you know, people saying oh, you'll be much better off if you get a prosthetic, not it's going to help you more as you're not going to be able to do things on your own. So here's something to help you. So I kind of took that negatively. But now that I've been through the process, I'm so grateful that everything worked out. And drum roll, I finally got my arm. So here it is. Um, I'm going to put it on for you. I got this uh, oh, it makes a little fart sound when I put on sometimes, but I got this literally like a week after I finished part one in the video. So um, I'm going to make a whole video, I guess, of how it really works, but I've kind of explained it uh, to you so far. There's a little switch right here, turns it on and off. And from there, I can sometimes, <laughs> there you go. And sometimes when I move, it does make that farty sound, but... Yeah, I just manipulate it by the way I showed you before. I stick my arm out one way. Oops, sorry, this. And then the other way. Um, basically, really all I'm doing right now is just going like this with my elbow until I can make it open and close. I don't really have like full control over it, but um, for the most part, I can figure it out. I can kind of see. Trying to pick up. Haha. <laughs> um, there we go. 
I wouldn't recommend putting your hand in there because it does close all the way. Um, what's cool about it is that this does pop off. And I do have, if you wait one second, I have a hook that just goes on like this. Pop it on and turn it back on. Let's see. Oh, is it locked? There's a little latch on the side that uh, either locks or opens it. That noise you're hearing is my arm freaking out because it doesn't know which way I want it to open or close. But what's cool about the hook <laughs> and my farts, sometimes I do have to hold it to get it to get going, but there we go, let me turn it off. What's cool about the hook is that there's actually a latch on the side right here. I don't know if you can really see it, but it does manipulate so I can just open and close it, whereas the hand doesn't have that um, little feature. So this one is actually pretty cool um, in functionality. Uh, it does have a wrist that you can use like that, that I can use to push up my glasses. <laughs> Um, and I do really like both of them. So uh, it has been really cool to play with these. Um, right now, the next step in my process is to get occupational therapy for these. I just got the script in, so I'm going to be on the lookout for a new therapist uh, pretty soon. So once that gets moving, hopefully I'll be able to get you guys some more videos of me actually doing things with these rather than just opening and closing them. And uh, yeah, so this turned out really cool. Um, it does have the two things on the inside, I don't know if you can really see, but the two uh, sensors are there. And then on the outside, these little holes have uh, like a key spot so I can turn the sensors up and down depending on which side of my arm uh, is stronger or weaker. So that is really helpful too. It is still really hard for me to use this functionally sometimes because I do have the chronic nerve pain in my arm um, it's hard for me to wear it, so I have been wearing it on and off here and there, but really I've only been bringing it to parties and <laughs> showing my family how it works, so I'm really glad that I finally got a chance to make a video to show you guys how it works. Uh, please stay tuned uh, for Halloween. I've got some ideas, some tricks up my um, prosthetic or sleeve, whatever you want to say, um, for what I'm going to be. Uh, if you have any guesses, please let me know. Leave them in the comments if you think you know what I'm going to be for Halloween, but I'll let you know it's somebody who's pretty badass. But yeah, thank you guys so much for staying in touch, um, and I will update you. Check my Instagram, check my Snapchat, Where's Waldman, and I'm going to be updating as much as I possibly can. Happy Halloween, and I'll talk to you guys soon. Thanks.